It's Friday, May 4th. Welcome to Pastor Bob Daily. Robert from Facebook says, Isn't it better that I have someone with the gift of teaching to tell me how to understand the Bible rather than just reading it myself? This actually is a good question. Because a lot of people leave reading and understanding the Bible up to the professionals. We feel like that's the reason we go to church. So a professional Christian, professional pastor, professional teacher can tell us what to believe. And can I just say, folks, that that is really dangerous thinking. That's how cults get started. Who's the number one teacher? Well, the Bible talks about the gift of teaching. And some people have that spiritual gift. And it's characterized by a lot of study, a lot of research, a huge desire to be correct and precise, and to not get off on emotional trips. And sometimes the very best teachers are the most difficult to listen to because (laughs) their talent isn't in speaking, their talent is in research. They have more of a desire for research than they do for actually speaking, usually. So teaching. Pastor? No. A pastor basically, according to the Bible, is a person who cares for the spiritual needs of the congregation. Not always a good teacher. Well, it's true that we ought to study the Bible together. It's a great thing. But you know, the greatest teacher, the greatest one, is the one the Bible talks about as guiding us into all truth. And that's the Holy Spirit. And by the way, You have him inside of you. Deeper than anything, as we've been saying, deeper than your thoughts, deeper than your inability to understand things, whatever, is the Holy Spirit guiding you into all truth. So, you know, it really makes more sense, honestly, to read it on your own first. You know, the Bible talks about this group of people also who were called the Bereans. They were a group of people that really loved the truth and made sure they got the truth. And the Bible says the the Bereans were more noble people because they checked out every day to make sure the scripture was correct. And it talks about the fact that they checked out Paul, the apostle, to make sure that what he was teaching was correct according to the Bible, the Bible that they had at the time. So what about that? You see, that's where we go, and that's where we go personally and collectively, to make sure that what we're hearing and feeling and and our direction is for real. The Bible is our owner's manual, God's word on the subject inspired by man, or excuse me, God's man's writing inspired by God. Whoa, I hope you don't uh, clip that little bit out and put it on the internet. Some people do that kind of stuff. But you see what I'm saying, folks? It's important that we understand that God will guide you into all truth. He promised he would. That Holy Spirit inside of you, he's a teacher. And he's the best teacher. Why? Because he's the one that inspired it in the first place. He wrote the book. And because of that, he is really qualified to guide you into all truth. So it's great to be part of a Bible study. I'm glad that you join me every day as I um, kind of muddle my way through sometimes. But it's really important that you do it on your own. And don't just listen to what somebody else says. They're not always right. I'm not always right. But the Holy Spirit is always right. And work more and more and more on understanding what he's saying. God bless you. Have a great day.